Climate scientists have issued a warning after global temperatures reached record highs in 2023. The World Meteorological Office says extreme weather events are off the charts, although renewable energy offers hope for the future. The world burned, flooded, melted and baked in 2023, smashing records as the impact of climate change rippled around the planet. So great was the pace and scale of global warming that the United Nations World Meteorological Organization has sounded a red alert. In its State of the Climate report, it said air temperatures reached an average of around 1.45 degrees above pre-industrial levels, with extreme heat waves in southern Europe and North Africa. And the ocean, too, was warmer than ever in modern times, with 90% affected by marine heat waves. It's much warmer this year than was anticipated by the forecasts at the end of the previous year. So that's um, one kind of very interesting point. The other is that we've seen a very um, rapid drop in Antarctic sea ice extent. The ice floating on the sea around Antarctica is um, at its lowest level ever. Glaciers experienced extreme melting. Those in the Swiss Alps have lost around 10% of their ice in just two years. Melting ice drove up sea levels. The rate of rise over the last 10 years has more than doubled compared to the decade between 1993 and 2002. And more extreme weather and climate added to food insecurity, which affected 333 million people last year, up from 149 million before the pandemic. The report says the rapid rollout of renewables is a glimmer of hope. The global capacity of wind, solar and other clean energy increased by more than 500 gigawatts last year. That is huge. Maintain the trend and it is humanity's best chance of reducing carbon emissions. Even in the cost of living crisis, scientists urged governments to double down on moving away from fossil fuels. Every day of inaction causes... Um, decades, centuries and even longer of uh, a changed climate. And so even though we have these short term problems, uh, it's really essential to target the cutting greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide in the short term. Thomas Moore, Sky News.